bury him deep, Sally. And no headstone. Half it won't be beyond digging him up again. Maybe there'll be a time for names soon enough. Aye, maybe. But now you'll leave and forget us another 20 years. <laughs> forget yourself. to ask you a favour, Richard. You think I still do favours, Jane? If you place any value on what was between us. Value. The value of what we had between us is short by 10,000 guineas. Is money everything? It is to you, Jane. The minute you found a lord, you lifted your skirt and fell on your back. What's your favour? Do not ask him to sell the estate. I've already asked him. And he's already promised me. He will not do it. He will. Or I'll kill him. If you do not promise to leave him alone, he swears he will not obtain you the release from your commission. You will be deserting your post. You will be hunted down and arrested. Oh my God. He's even more afraid of you than he is of me. Tell me, Jane. Is this the life you want? With a man like him? I have made my bed, I lie in it. It is soft enough. He will write the letter if you promise to leave us be. I don't care about the letter. I want the money he stole from me. Money which was earned by my blood and the blood of my men. You cannot have it. We were man and wife. That money was mine as much as yours. If you come after him, he will ruin you. At horse guards everywhere. You will have no career, no prospects. There is no war. So I already have no career. And since your little lord won't keep his word, there's no point in talking to him. If I see him, I'll kill him. Is that clear enough to you? You will never have the chance. You're right, there is no war, so they don't need you. They'll be glad to be rid of you. You're a relic. An embarrassment. Worse. You're an animal. All you can do is kill. John doesn't have to have a sword in his hand to be a man. I thank God for the day he saved me from you. He's a hundred times the man you ever were. He knows how to talk. He knows how to live. And he knows how to love. Your mother was a whore. You were born in the gutter. And that is where you still belong. Prettier women, faster horses, and some decent conversation. What about you, Dan? I ain't got anywhere else to go, sir. Besides, I'm getting a taste for the local ale. That's not the only local you're getting a taste for, Dan. Hey. Look after it. Good luck to you, Dan. Good luck, my friend. Right. Look after yourselves. Oh! 
Oi! You know what they say. What? Vive la France! <laughs>